Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to talk about Google's next flagship Pixel device, the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. Specifically speaking, we will cover GPU and cameras. As for design, well, you know everything already, so there is no point in repeating that. Although we will cover some specs as we get to the end of the video. So first, let's start with GPU. A Twitter user who goes by this pseudonym found out details about the GPU in a Google issue tracker comment. This comment refers to the codename P21, which is thought to cover Pixel 6 series as well as the codename for Google's in-house SoC. Here, you can see there is a reference of Mali G78, the GPU that Huawei and Samsung use in the Kirin 9000 and Exynos 2100 SoCs. Now, if you are unaware, Mali G78 supports up to 24 cores. That doesn't mean every Mali G78 GPU uses 24 cores. For example, Samsung uses a 14 core version on the Exynos 2100. So if there are less cores, the GPU performance will be lower. But there is also the frequency which affects performance. So it will be interesting to see what core count Google will use on Pixel 6 lineup. Coming to cameras, the Pixel Duo will get one of the most awaited upgrade, the upgrade in cameras. According to Twitter leaker at Frontron who claims that the rumored upcoming Google phone will have a gimbal-like steady cam mode. That's something we don't see very often. The only other phone we have seen with gimbal tech is the Vivo X50 Pro. There is also LG Wing with gimbal feature but that's completely based on software. So you may be having the question as to what is this gimbal mode? Well, it's an extension of optical image stabilization in the sense that it does what OIS does but even better. Like the video footage would suffer less from the shocks and jolts of our body movement. And it's an upgrade that could make taking clear shots, especially in unsteady and low light shooting situations, much easier. The leakster also claims that the Pixel 6 series will use a bigger Samsung sensor, though it is unclear if it will be a primary camera sensor on the Pixel 6 series devices. Also, the Pixel 6 series will get Google-made neural processing unit and image signal processor. All this is set to bring huge improvements to Pixel 6 series in terms of video performance compared to its predecessor, Pixel 5. So overall, Pixel 6 will be leaps and bounds ahead of Pixel 5 and who knows, they may even top the best camera phone of 2021. As for launch, the Pixel 6 series isn't expected to arrive until this fall, though there are plenty of rumors of what this phone might include. There's the rumored new in-house Whitechapel chip, an in-display fingerprint sensor, a 5000 mAh battery and a 120Hz refresh rate display. There's also rumor of an under-display selfie camera, but more recent renders have ditched this feature in favor of a more traditional punch hole design. As for the display, the Pixel 6 should come with a 6.4 inch display while the Pixel 6 Pro will likely be 6.7 inches. A Core HD Plus resolution has been suggested, though we guess that this will be exclusive to the larger model. We will bring you more new details on Pixel 6 series, all you have to do is subscribe. So thank you for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.